steps 70 through 85. I'm loosening the valve cover bolts so that I might be able to remove the valve cover on the driver's side of this 350 Chevy engine so that I can do a valve lash adjustment with the engine running. Now I've already taken a few steps already to prepare for this process. I've put some shop towel around the perimeter of the uh, head of this engine where I'll take off the valve cover and I uh, can protect it also with some cardboard along here while I run the engine so that uh, I don't get any oil splatter in the engine bay. This is 3 8 I've mentioned that already. I've done the passenger side and now I'm doing the driver's side valve lash adjustment with the engine running. And different people, different schools of thought will tell you to get the proper valve lash adjustment would uh, you loosen the uh, rocker arm screw uh, nut until you hear a clacking sound and then you tighten it either half a turn, three quarters of a turn or a full turn till the clacking stops. Um, so anyways, I'm going to go half a turn. Uh, to get this valve cover off, it's pretty basic on the driver's side. I just got to remove the PVC valve out of the way. And once the, the bolts are removed, the other hoses to the brake booster and the wires to the alternator will clear the valve cover for the removal of it. Again, you gotta wiggle it and squiggle it around till you get clearance. And the valve, the gasket comes off too with it. This one came off, so to put the gasket back on, it's pretty basic. It just seats into its reglet, and uh, you just sort of press it tight in there so that it will not fall out when you go to reinstall it. There's little tabs here at these locations that give a little bit of pressure on the gasket, plus the gasket is a little bit smaller, so there's pressure uh, holding it into the reglet of this valve cover for reinstallation afterwards. Okay. So here we go. I want to actually put this on the ground so it doesn't vibrate when the engine's running. And make sure all my tools and my bolts are secured. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of noise and a little bit of vibration. And I don't want things falling down into the engine or causing any grief or havoc for me. So here's my cardboard protector. Shields. Shields up. Shields up. Stick that down in there. Get it to fit. There we go. And my brake booster vacuum is out of the way. Um, so everything looks free and clear. Just going to start the engine. fun bearing. There, it just disappeared. It just disappeared. Clack, 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 clack.
valve lash adjustment on the driver's side is complete on a Chevy 350 engine. I'm going to start the engine again. Listen to the sound. Thanks for watching YouTube.